questions related to topic conservations of momentum okay so we go to question number one figure below shows that object a 200 grams so please convert into kg later okay and b with the mass 100 gram after the collision we move at a speed of 2 meter per second to the left okay so to the left determine the velocity of the object okay so after the collision b it will move 2 meter per second to the left and a we don't know what is the final velocity okay so we can use because this is a collision we can use conservation of momentum okay m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 okay so this is only involve one dimension meaning only involve x component to the right or to the left so we substitute all the value m1 is a 0.2 and uh, ua initial is 6 so to the left so we put negative 6 plus m2 0.1 u2 is 3 to the right so it's positive 3 equals to after the collision a 0.2 but the velocity for a we don't know plus b m b is 0 0.1 and it move 2 meter per second to the left so it's negative 2 okay so find out what is the velocity for a okay so after the calculation you will get negative 3.5 meter per second meaning that after the collision object a will move to the left okay with the speed of 3.5 meter per second okay so another question is is the collision elastic or inelastic okay so we want to prove whether it's elastic or inelastic we need to use conservation of kinetic energy so we need to find initial kinetic energy first half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square okay so we want to find initial kinetic energy first the total for a and b half m1 is 0 0.2 initial velocity is uh, negative 6 square plus half m for b is 0 0.1 and the initial velocity okay initial velocity for b is 3 squared Okay, so if you press calculator, the initial kinetic energy is equal to 4.05, the unit for energy is Joule. So this is the initial kinetic energy. Next, we find the final kinetic energy. Okay, so again, it's half M is 0 0.2. Okay, VA is negative 3.5 square remember to square and this is the common mistake always student forgot to square okay B mb is 0 0.1 and velocity final is negative 2 square okay so if you press calculator you will get 1.425 joule so this is the after the collision okay so we found that total initial kinetic energy is actually not equal to the total final kinetic energy so therefore it is inelastic okay is it inelastic because energy lost to the surrounding okay so we cannot say uh, there's an energy loss okay so this is inelastic question number two an object p with 4 kg moving with the velocity 4 meter per second collides okay elastically this one you cancel okay with another object q of mass 2 kg move with the velocity 3 meter per second towards it okay so this is p 4 kg move with 4 meter per second q 2 kg and it move with 3 meter per second 
So the first one determine the total momentum before the collision. Okay, so our P total initial is equal to M1 V1 uh, U1 plus M2 U2. Okay, so M1 is P 4 kg 4 meter per second. And then Q is 2 kg and it moved to the left. So negative 3. Okay, so 16 minus 6, you will get positive 10 kilogram meter per second. Okay, so this is the initial, mom, uh, initial momentum. If P immediately stop after the collision, calculate the final uh, velocity of Q. Okay, so now our V for P equals to 0. So we want to find Q, V for Q final, what is the answer? Okay, so we can use conservations of momentum. P initial equals to P final. Where P initial just now we already found is positive 10. Okay, so P final is equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. Okay, so your M1 for P is uh, 4 kg but it stops, so it's 0. And your M2 Q is 2 kg and it moves uh, V2. Uh, V2 is the value that we want to find. Okay, so your V2, you will get 10 over 2 is 5 meter per second. And you will get positive. So positive here indicate that the direction is to the right. Okay, so meaning that after the collision here, after the collision, your Q, your P will stop. V equals to 0. And your Q will still moving with 5 meter per second. Okay, question number C. If the two objects stick together after the collision, calculate the final velocity. So P initial will equal to P final. Okay, when we say stick together, meaning that we know that it is inelastic. Okay, however, inelastic, our momentum initial will still equal to final momentum. So we can use P initial equals to P final. P initial, we know that just now from A, we get 10. So P final stick together, meaning that mass for P plus mass for Q stick together. Okay, move with the same velocity. Okay, so 10 will equal to um, mass for P is 4, mass for Q is 2. Okay, V, they will move together so we can use 10 over 8 so you will get 1.7 meter per second and again you get positive meaning that okay it is to the right okay next we go to questions number three a marksman holds a, a rifle of mass 3 kg loosely in his hand so as it to let it recoil freely when fired. So the fires a bullet he fires a bullet of the mass 5 gram. Eh? Remember 5 gram need to change to kg horizontally with a velocity of 300 meter per second. So determine the record velocity of the arrival. Okay, so for this case meaning that initially your gun Inside there is a bullet. Initially, before shoot, there is no velocity for the the bullet and also the rifle, the gun. Okay. So after that, okay, your bullet will shoot out with three hundred meter per second. So now we want to find what is the velocity for the rifle, meaning the gun. Okay. So we want to find whether it is moved to the right or to the left okay so again this is conservations of momentum p initial equals to p final so p initial of course 
it is zero because both is not moving okay then after it should the mass one v one plus m two v two okay so m one is the refer refer is three kg uh, v we don't know plus the bullet 5 grams so 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 we change it to kg with the velocity of 300 okay so it's equals to 0 so therefore our v you will get negative 0 0.5 meter per second okay so meaning that after it should your bullet will move forward but your refer the gun will move backward with 0 0.5 only okay next calculate the final momentum of the system we only want the final well, uh, final momentum so p final okay p final okay p final we have uh, a refer and also the bullet okay so uh, for the bullet uh, sorry so we write M1, V1 plus M2, V2. Okay, so M1, the refer is 3, V is negative 0 0.5. And for the bullet, is 0 0.5. 0, 0, 5, meaning that 5 times 10 to the power negative 3 and the velocity is 300 okay so you will found that actually you will get 0 because initial is 0 so therefore the final momentum also you will get 0 okay 0 kg meter per second okay so this is questions number 3 Okay, next we go to questions number four. A bullet of mass 50 gram traveling horizontally at 600 meter per second. Strike a stationary. Okay, so this is U1 equals to 600. U2 is stationary, so it's equals to zero. Okay, stationary wooden block of the mass 2 kg resting on the smooth horizontal surface. The bullet gets stuck, stuck meaning that already embedded into the wooden block. Okay, so meaning that our initial, our bullet is moved with 600 and the block is not moving. After that, the bullet is stuck inside the block. Okay, so both of them will move with the same velocity. So this is the case where they stick together. This is the case in elastic case. Huh? In elastic case. Okay, so name and state the principle which can be applied to find the speed of the block and the bullet system after the bullet enter the block. Okay, so we can use conservation. Okay, conservation of momentum. Conservation of linear momentum okay calculate the speed of the bullet and the block system immediately after the impact meaning that we want to find v after the bullet embedded inside the block okay so we can write m1 u1 bullet plus m2 u2 for the block equals to m1 plus m2 because both of them are together okay move with the same velocity so we total up so m1 bullet is five, uh, 50 grams so it's 50 times 10 to the power of negative 3 initial velocity is 600 okay plus uh, the block is not moving initially so it's zero okay after that the bullet 0 0.05 kg 
plus the block 2 kg will move together okay, with the same velocity v. So we take v equals to 14.63 meter per second. Okay, so this is the velocity where the block and the bullet will move together. Okay, to the right. Okay, to the right. So it's positive meaning that it's to the right. Okay, C. If the time of impact was 5 times 10 to the power negative 4 seconds, calculate the force that bullet exerted on the block okay, during the impact. Okay, so we can find uh, the f uh, because we already have the momentum, so we know that our impulse is equal to Ft. Okay, is equal to Ft. Okay, and is also equal to the change of momentum and V minus m mu. Okay. So now we want to find the force. Okay, so force F T is 5 times uh, 10 to the power of negative 4. And the impulse just now, okay, after the collision is uh, M V minus U. Okay, so now we want to find if let's say this is for block, everything you must take block. Okay, so you must take mass for block. Uh, if let's say block, so you must take the impulse, everything on the block. Okay, so the block is 2 kg and the velocity for the block is 14.63 initially is zero okay so therefore you will get the force equals to 5.85 times 10 to the power of 4 newton okay so this is the force acting on the block okay even you if you want to use if the question asks uh, can you find the Force, uh, the impulsive force on the bullet. Okay, if let's say you want to use bullet, actually you will get the same answer. Okay, but if let's say you want to use bullet, everything must be bullet. So F T is 5 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay, now if you want to find the bullet, so you must use mass for bullet 0 0.05. Okay, V is uh, initially is 600 and final is uh, sorry it should be okay it should be final uh. so our final is 14.63 minus initial 600 okay so you will get F equals to similar but you will get negative 5.85 times 10 to the power of 4 newton okay so if you observe here the answer for both are the same okay it's just that the direction okay so meaning that if you refer to the block it is on a positive the impact is positive if you refer to the bullet the impact is negative okay that's all for Chapter 3.2 Conservations of the Momentum for only one dimension. So, continue watch my video for the conservations of the momentum for two dimension. Thank you.